Behemoth bluefish, blitzing bass, again, take center stage on our inshore reports. But of course, there's a lot to be said about those brutish blackfish and the biscuit bonanza along the Jersey coast. Um, Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine, and it is all about variety this second, third week of November. It's been hot, the, a lot of action can be found, and I'll tell you what, if you're looking for the striped bass, you don't have much difficulty finding the fish. All you have to do is go out the inlet and look for those parking lot conditions because that's the way it's been on these weekends. It seems like nobody took their boat out, which is great news, but getting out there and finding the fish is a matter of finding a fleet of boats already working the fish. If you have a fleet of boats, they're working the bass. The bass are working the bait and also in the mix are the birds. So look for the birds, which is what we found on Monday, opening day of the tog season here in New Jersey, returning to our six fish bag limit just as we cleared Sandy Hook at dawn turn around and look down the beach and there's nothing but birds. From here in Sandy Hook, I'm here in Atlantic Highlands, from Sandy Hook down, nothing but birds. A couple of casts we already got into the striped bass. So there's a good run of fish that are continuing to make their way south along the coast. Um, so find those birds, find those boats, find the bunker, live lining, uh, throwing plastics. I mean, we're talking about all kinds of different baits and patterns that are working for striped bass. Up here on Raritan Bay, Brian Bosco, nine years old, was live lining bunker for this 21 pound striper earlier in the week that he let go. Nicely done, Brian, nice fish. Dan De Pasquale off of Central Jersey around Island Beach over the weekend with, with big humpback whales bursting out of the water and bunker everywhere. While a lot of guys were live line and bunker, Danny and his crew, they were throwing plugs, poppers and swimming plugs, taking some really nice sized striped bass right outside the schools. What a couple of guys are telling me is they find this fleet of boats, they keep traveling a little bit farther away from any of the inlets and they, they, they keep finding a lot more fish and they're finding their own schools, but not just the live lining. You're throwing those pencils, you're throwing those poppers, they're taking a lot. Captain Mickey Melchinato out of Neptune, AKA Dean Ween, has been lighting them up on lures, on live bait, on plastics, uh, on, on throwing all kinds of plugs at these fish. And I know that Mickey, the guitar player that he is, is getting as much action in now while this striped bass run is hot because his band Ween has just announced their retouring re schedule. So uh, in 2016, if you're a 90s rock fan, make sure you look for Mickey on the stage as opposed to on the water where he is right now. In South Jersey, I know guys are waiting for this big mass of Central and North Jersey fish to move south. Some of them are doing so. Some guys are going in the back finding fish along the ICW. Chris DeVito here shows off a nice big fish, a 38 pounder that he caught on a live eel and weighed in at Upsecon Bay Sportsman Center. Just last week we found a lot of fish. Uh, a friend of mine and I were out from Sea Jams on a 22 Pathfinder finding nothing but small fish, a lot of striped bass in the back bays. Uh, we had probably 25, 30 fish between the three of us just throwing plastics around the sod banks. So there's plenty of striped bass out there, what some captains are calling just about the best they've seen in a very long time. It kind of harkens back to what we said about that bluefish run back in the spring when guys were saying, I haven't seen a bluefish run like this in a long time. Well, the bluefish action continues as well. Case in point, you got Dr. Lewis Misperata was jigging sea bass at the Dell Jersey Land Reef. That's shared with New Jersey and Delaware. Had a nice sea bass on, but you, don't you know we had a sea bass stolen by a 24.8 pound bluefish, a 43 incher that he brought in to Lewis Harbor Marina. That was on Monday. The state of Delaware has already confirmed that as a new state record catch. You know, last week we had a state record bluefish of 25 and a quarter pounds caught up in New York, just over the border here, and now we've got a state record in Delaware. So you guys in New Jersey, we gotta get out and find those bluefish because they're there and they are monsters. Um, there are toggers on the wrecks, of course, in Delaware where there's a five fish limit and New Jersey. As I said, we got our six fish limit back to start on Monday. A lot of folks, a lot of these boats, I'm here in Atlantic Highlands, a lot of folks have turned their attention, not just to jigging stripers and blues, but now going after those blackfish. Earlier this week, Brett Penedos was out and he lit him up on one of the, a couple of the local wrecks just off of Sandy Hook here. Five guys, 23 fish limit. A lot of guys are talking about just limiting out pretty quickly on some very nice tog, good sized fish, lots of good fish. Uh, Stanley Gola registered this one, an s, s Magic Mies Glowing Greeny for this nine pounder. Probably the biggest fish that I heard of this week was on opening day on the Skylarker out of uh, Belmar. 14.3 pounds for Willie Grotto 
shadow of little silver, a heck of a fish there. And of course, the black sea bass, the biscuits, that continues as well. So you're out doing one of these combo trips, but um, the clam is working just as well for the other bass, the sea bass, folks like Diane Miller, who hit the Paramount earlier this week for the biscuits. So you got the, you got the black sea bass, you got the black fish, you got the blue fish, and you have the striped bass. Now all we need is the weather. Um, Thursday's weather not so good, a little rainy, a little windy, winds out of the south southeast, but that's supposed to clean up a little bit over the weekend. Throughout the weekend we have west, northwest, north winds, a lot of the offshore breezes. While it's a stiff wind, you're going to be protected in close to the beach. So you have an opportunity to sling baits in the wash and also stay in close to the beach in relative calm conditions looking for those bunker and bass schools. So the only thing I'd warn you about this weekend is after just several weeks of unbelievably warm weather should get a little chillier for you this weekend. So make sure you're bundled up if you're getting up at sunrise. Uh, we're talking in the 30s, 30 degree, 40 degree start in the day. And it, I'll tell you what, if you wake up Sunday morning and it's a little bit too chilly for you to head out, uh, you might want to consider the Fishermen Conservation Association's Sunday flea markets. Every Sunday through November, they have a fisherman flea market that's at 87 Ellis Street in Staten Island. That's held from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. So you're going to support a great cause. You can get all geared up for the week's action, whether you're looking for the bass, the bluefish, the biscuits, or the blackfish. But I would get you geared up right now and do not miss it because what people are saying right now, a lot of folks are saying the same thing about the best action they've seen in a long time. So it could turn out to be one of the best falls that we've, we've had in a very, very long time. So don't let it miss out on you. Um, and don't forget that Dreamboat contest for you fishermen subscribers continues through this month. So when you're looking for that state record bluefish, don't forget it could win you a brand new Cobia boat in 2016 as well. Until next week, I hope to see you on the beach. Catch them up. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.